What do you mean by an electronic multimeter? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term electronic multimeters? Well, let's find out. So electronic multimeters, just like the name suggests, this is an electronic device. This is an electronic device that is used for the purpose of measuring something. So the term meter here signifies that this is used for the purpose of measuring something. But here it is a multimeter, which means that multiple quantities can be measured with the help of a multimeter. So here the multiple quantities that can be measured are, it can measure the AC and DC voltage, it can measure the AC and DC current and it can also measure the resistance. So an electronic multimeter is basically an electronic device that can be used for the purpose of measuring multiple quantities such as AC and DC voltage, AC and DC current and even the resistance of a particular object. So there are two types of multimeters, a digital multimeter and an analog multimeter. So a digital multimeter is that type of a multimeter which provides a digital output. It would actually show us, it would actually display a digital number with the help of a digital screen. That is what we refer to as a digital multimeter. So a digital multimeter would look somewhat like this. So here it will have an LCD display like this. So here in this LCD display, it can actually display four digits. It can display four digits along with a sign like this. And here, this is the interesting part. Here there will be a rotary knob like this. A rotary knob would be present. So there would be a rotary knob like this, which we can actually turn like this. So if we put it here, this is the off position. So this is turned to select what quantity do we need to measure. That is, should we measure the AC voltage or the DC voltage or should we measure the AC current or the DC current or the resistance? What do we want to measure? So that is selected by rotating this particular knob over here. So here in this particular range like this, we measure the DC voltage. That is if this knob is turned towards this position like this between this particular range of values, then we can actually measure the DC voltage using this particular multimeter. And for a range over here, we can measure the AC voltage. And then for a particular range over here, we can measure the DC current. And for some range over here, we can measure the resistance. So by actually rotating this knob, we can select what kind of a quantity do we have to measure with the help of this particular electronic multimeter. But now the obvious question arises, simply by just changing this particular knob, how do we measure these quantities? We need to have some physical kind of contacts. For that, we will take two probes, a positive probe and a negative probe. So this positive and negative probe is connected or is kept on top of whatever object across which we need to obtain or measure the voltage, the current or even the resistance. But for that, these probes must be connected to this particular multimeter. For that, we have three ports. So these are the three ports. So here, there is a common port for which we connect the negative probe. The negative probe is always connected in this common port, but the positive probe is connected here if we have to measure the voltage or the resistance, or it is connected here if the physical quantity to be measured is the current. So if we have to measure the current across a particular conductor, we connect the positive probe here and the negative probe here, and we take these two probes and we put it across the conductor whose current must be measured. Once the current is, once we keep it there, then here in the digital display, we can actually see the current that is present across that conductor. For that, we have to rotate this knob to DC current, and then we can actually measure the DC current that is present across that particular conductor. As simple as that. This thus is the basic process behind how we can measure the current or the voltage or even the resistance across a particular device using a multimeter. So here now, the next thing that we need to know is we need to know the inside block diagram of this particular multimeter. What all 
components are present inside this multimeter it is actually very very simple so this is the basic block diagram of this particular digital multimeter so it is very simple now this is the rotating knob that we actually rotate over here so here let us now rotate this knob and place it over here like this when it is placed here it means we are supposed to measure the AC voltage so this AC voltage is now passed to an attenuator an attenuator is a device that reduces the power without actually distorting the signal so it reduces this power and passes it through an AC to DC converter which then is passed through an ADC and then is passed through a digital display where we can actually obtain the digital display using this particular AC voltage. And now if it is an AC current that we have to measure then for the purpose of measuring current we always pass it through a shunt. A shunt is basically a very low resistance that is placed over here. So therefore the current flows through this particular shunt and then passes through this precision AC to DC converter and then is passed through an analog to digital converter and this digital value is then displayed at the outer display over here. Now next if you have to measure the DC current it is simply just passed through a shunt and then this DC current is then passed through an analog to digital converter where it is digitalized and then is displayed in the digital display over here. Same case for the DC voltage but here since it is voltage the power has to be reduced and therefore it is passed through a calibrated attenuator so that the power is reduced and this reduced power is then passed through the analog to digital converter which is then digitalized and displayed at the output display over here. But now here in the case of a resistance it is passed through a buffer amplifier which is used to change the impedance and now this particular value is then passed through an analog to digital converter and then is obtained at the output display over here. This buffer amplifier is provided here to reduce or to eliminate the loading effect that might result over here. So now this does is simply how a particular electronic multimeter works and now here for the purpose of working a constant current source is provided to over here like this that is it is provided to the multimeter here as simple as that so this does is basically how a particular electronic multimeter works as simple as that this is the block diagram and this is the actual electronic multimeter that is present. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you mean by an electronic multimeter and if you guys found this video informative do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned, stay subscribed until next time I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.